Video time. Hey, this video is sponsored by PCB Way. Today, I want to show you a very cool battery module that just came in. We got a pallet of them and I'm kind of excited about it. Let me show it to you. This is the battery module that we're talking about here. It's very, very nice. It's very compact and it looks pretty clean. Now, according to our supplier, this comes from a load of vehicles that was brand new, was being transported and somehow was involved in an accident. And so as a result of that, all the cars had to be scrapped because they were damaged, physically damaged, uh, like, you know, beyond repair or something. So these are brand new cells, uh, packs, uh, were zero cycle, zero miles on. I have no way to obviously uh, verify that. Uh, I just went and checked to see this number right here. And it looks like these are from Audi Q5s, which is a plug-in hybrid, I believe. Uh, and so these are not from fully electric. So that means these are very, probably very, very powerful. Now, according to this here, these are 13S one pay, which is pretty cool. Cause that means these are, can be used for a, as is, as a 48 volt, uh, battery pack. And, uh, the other cool thing is that, well, they're made in Hungary, Republic of Hungary. There's Samsung SDI cells. Uh, the other cool thing is that we have the harness, the wiring harness for the connector here. So we might be able to use them, use that connector to be able to just put our own, install our own BMS, right? But let's take them apart and then see how this is put together. That is pretty cool. So it looks like it's got its own BMS part of the BMS, which is cool, but it's also not so cool, right? Because that means that what's coming out of here, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pins. So that's a dead giveaway right there that it's not just cell center taps, right? So that you can put your own third party BMS. But the cool thing, so that's not so cool that it's got its own electronics in here because these are proprietary. Now, Obviously, if this was like a like a very popular car, and if you're good at coding, then you could figure this out, and then you actually use the proprietary equipment that's in here, right? All the electronics in here. But because this, is, I think this is kind of a rare car, right? There's not there's not a high production car, it's like a Tesla Model S that everybody like. There's everybody in their mothers is trying to figure out, right? So I don't think this is going to be the way to go. But the cool thing is that. It looks like this BMS uh, or this PCB board is just screwed on here. So that means I could take it apart and we, I can design our own board, a breakout board that then we can have our own connector. I could even use the same connector, but probably not because I uh, probably could just use another. Well, I don't know. Maybe we can find this connector. I'll figure out which connector we can use in here. But this one fits perfectly in here. So if I make a board of this exactly the same, let's take it apart. Oh, yep. So here it is. These are the pins to go right on here. I wonder what this is. Oh, probably a thermistor. Yeah. So it's temperature right here. So this is a 48 volt nominal battery type A base let's go to the drawing app and then let's design our own custom one for this okay so i'm starting here with an old design uh this board was for another battery project thing and so all the the connectors in here and some a lot of the stuff it's already in this that's why i like to start with uh, an existing project but this project is going to be very very simple essentially what we're going to build here is going to be a breakout board so we just need to get all those center taps right all those little connections uh, between the cells and move them to a connector that then is accessible from the outside of the module and the reason to do that is so that you can easily install an external BMS or a third party BMS, something that you can buy on Amazon, AliExpress, any other and internet sites. And, and so then what you can do is then just connect, easily connect your BMS outside of this battery box, right? So this is what we're designing here. And uh, it's just a lot of measuring, right? The actual size of the existing 
board. I have the 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 PCB board, the the original ones, on my hand, and I'm measuring it, and then I'm drying those things, and then you know I'm then I'm gonna do the traces. It's it's very simple stuff. This is about the most basic uh, things that you can do with PCBs, right? It's just, it's just a bus bar essentially, right? And this is a low cur current carrying bus bar because it's just for signal. It's just to uh, it's just to send the individual cell voltages to a an external BMS. So that's what we're doing here. Okay, so it looks like we're done here. Uh, this matches pretty close to the original one, except that instead of having its own electronics in here, it just goes to that connector. So now what we have to do is go to the sponsor of this video, pcbway.com, and order this board, and then wait for it to show up, and then we can see if it actually fits on the battery, and then we, you know, what mistakes we made but while we wait let's test the capacity of this batteries let's see just how much energy is stored inside of this battery by testing it All right, so it looks like 38 amp hours. We started with 50 and then we ended up with 12 amp hours on the, right before the voltage collapsed. So subtract 12 from 50 uh, equals 38. So 38 amp hours or 1.824 kilowatt hours. 1.8 kilowatt hours in each one of these modules. All right, and the boards are here from PCB Way. Let's get one of these and try to put it in the actual battery over there. All right, so guess what? I just discovered that there's two versions of these modules. There's the M and then there's the L. And I designed the I this is the first one that I got. It was an L, and I designed that board for the L. So I might have to make one for the M. Let's see how it fits on the L and there it is look at that so there's some slight this is obviously version 1.0 um like here I need to extend that just put push that thing a little bit further out and then there's some clearance here on this little plastic thing cover is that how it goes yeah Okay, so there's some, some clearance there, so I'm gonna have to move that thing out. Also, I just noticed there's another mistake. This is B minus, and B minus is followed by C1, but the one right next to B minus is this one, C12. So I mismarked those. That should be C1, C2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then this is uh, B plus over here, right? So I need to change that. I, you know, I always make mistakes on these boards. So now let's take this thing apart. So, oh wow, so this one's not black. Look at that, this one's different. You know what? Bet you this is exactly the same. It's just mirror. So if I just put the markings for this board on that one and then put the markings on this one, will that work? Let's see, plus, yeah, that would work. That makes that the plus over there, All right? That's, this is the positive and then this is the negative. I think that would work. I think I can make the same board work both modules. I just have to make those small changes, but uh, those are small changes. We could make this board work right now as is for this test. So let's do that. All right, so here I'm just gonna make those changes. It's very, very rare that I get a board, you know, perfect at the same time. There's too many things to measure, too many things to usually on a board, right? So uh, I can't imagine what people who are actually putting electronic components in a board, how many revisions they have to go because 
they get and i'm kind of sloppy and i'm building i'm designing like 20 different designs at any time so i just do it and then i just either order it or if i wait then i i don't know exactly where i'm at in the design you know, so yeah I, I make a lot of mistakes but we just move fast and we order a bunch of them and then eventually we get it right. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is we're gonna check the power output of this, right? Because these are from a hybrid, they could probably do a lot of amps. So we have connected it to a 48 uh, volt inverter here that could pull quite a bit of power, I think. Uh... To be able to gauge how much power the cell can do is you measure the amount of heat that they'll create at any given power output. So we'll start this test. Here we go, that's the first load. The cells are not sagging much. full-on discharge at about 150 well it was a, about 150 amps for a while and then it went down to about 100 amps I think so and that is yeah 30 degrees above ambient yeah these these could probably do 200 amps these are hot but not too hot that you can't touch them all right so this things could put out the uh, 6500 watts. One of these ones could run an LV6548 all day, no problem. Fully charged to fully discharged, right? So if you want to run a split phase setup, you would need uh, as little as two of these modules and then you can connect both inverters into the same battery pack uh, that you can parallel, right? So these things are very, very, very powerful and they look pretty nice. Let me show you what they look like in the wall. There we go, 20 kilowatt hours. This little pack here can run <laughs> 10 inverters. Whatever the maximum is that the LV's uh, 6548s can do, this can run it right here. 20 kilowatt hours as opposed to uh, 3.8 kilowatt hours in lithium iron phosphate. This is super compact and it's very, very narrow, right? So like you could put this in your garage and uh, you know, it wouldn't get in the way. You could literally, it's a power wall, right? And it looks this good. It's crazy that this is DIY and it looks really good. Now, this is not done. I need to still run the the bus bars and then the BMS, right? So the BMS will have to run outside, obviously, because the BMS that it was in here, we replaced it with our own custom thing, right? So um, I'm gonna save that for another video because that would be lengthy. I would have to like design the bus bars in here uh some cool thing i want to do you know not just some ugly cables in there we'll we'll make some cool project out of this one and then we'll fire it up we'll get another uh to, we'll put two of those inverters and then we'll run them at, at uh you know split face kind of thing this this is really cool i i wish we had truckloads of these but we don't we have truckloads of these and by the way these are these are amazing cells also. All right, people, if you're not building a battery, what are you doing? We're living in the golden age of lithium battery storage. I wanna thank my sponsor, PCBWay.com. If you want to buy these modules and then have that little custom board that we built 
so that you can uh, install your own third-party BMS. Just go to PCB UI, follow the link on the description of this video, and then go to the project there, the project page, and then you can download the files and then order it somewhere else, or you can order it right there with PCB UA. Thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.